So this is all about apps. Moving on. Roles and restrictions. So what are roles and restrictions? They are basically ways to give specific access to the end user by accessing Power BI's role level security. User can view only the data based on the roles they have been part of. And user views no data if no role has been assigned to the user, but they have just been shared the dashboard. A typical case, a typical uh, forum question which many Power BI naive users come across when they play around with roles. So you need to ensure a couple of things. When you give roles, ensure all the users accessing that data set have been given roles after that only you would share the access to the database or the power bi reports or dashboards so the roles need to be assigned first after that post that you would be giving access to the dashboards and reports point number one if no roles have been assigned to the end user to whom you would be sharing the power bi reports or the dashboard then system would not grant them view access of the report pages and user would more likely or most likely would be viewing errors on the reports pages. Let's have a look of how to give roles and how to publish that. Let's have a look at it. Yes, so I am on IT spend analysis sample. I would first go into the table screen like here and I would find this section manage roles as we've seen earlier in the diagram. I say I want to give access to a person only to the Europe data. So let's say I say country as region. I say add a filter and mark it as sales region and make it as Europe. R-O-P-E. Right? I say save. Most important, please click on save, otherwise things don't get added up. So when you click on it, there is one Europe role. Let's create a Canada role. C A N A D A. Let's split that and say sales region is C A N A D A. Right? And then let's create a role of everything. Create everything basically this means you're not giving any filters in this just creating a role and keeping it so there are three roles europe canada and everything now let's view the data based on canada you would see only the canada region data coming over here if you go to this place you would see only the canada related spends now if i say view data as everything you would see many things changing see this so basis this you can always test do trial and error before you would actually publish this and go live what is other user so if there is some other user you want to make use of nishan dot yes I would be seeing all of this so you can make use of this and what if you are not part of any of the roles what would you see this is what you see if you are not part of any of the roles a good scenario would be make yourself available to one of the roles right yeah there we are so this is how the roles are defined roles are used to filter the content which you want end user to view after deciding on the roles in the power bi desktop you need to pass this pbix file onto the power bi service how do we do it we do it by clicking on publish Again, it would publish the entire file in the mentioned space. It's still loading. Let it load. It has to publish. 
first it's still going on where do i want to publish i want to publish in the sample dashboard where it was earlier placed it would replace the earlier file so this is how you keep on updating the files so this is the latest you already have a file over here do you want to replace it yes i want to replace it yes it has been replaced let's go back now a very interesting fact over here is once you have this thing in place you go into the dashboard you can say reports i say i want to spend this i say share access i do have manage permissions that's there move ahead i go into the report i say settings data set it spend security please remember how to reach this so these are the three roles what you've built so this is one place you need to assign role to a person and then you need to pass it on so i can use my name nisha dot vyas one i say add i say save and now i go here and let's see what happens i go in times and shant i say reports i say it spent what do i see i do see everything why because by default i am the admin and these rules don't apply to me workspace my name data set it spent security i have canada as under me europe shouldn't be part of it let's say again i go here i go here i go here let me see is there anything based on it no so more important these are the nitty gritties of the roles is if you are an admin no matter what role you belong to you would get access to everything whereas if i had another person then only the limited restricted data would be given access to the user so today we saw couple of things one is within the report you can limit the access given to the end users based on the roles furthermore if you have silos of different reports and you don't want people to access it then you can build those custom apps and give it to them that's the second method of doing it to view the content you can also make content pack if your organization allows you to build it and pass those content packs to the end users for their consumption sharing and for the reuse fourth way of doing it is if you want aggregated value of different reports to be displayed under one screen so you can collate all the relative contents and place it in the dashboard so dashboard is a uniting factor of the reports apps is a divisive factor of the reports if need be it can be made into groups of apps and content packs are built basis dashboards and it can have host more than one dashboard along with its data sets and reports so a little nitty gritty of this is more or less important to know and remember while designing these dashboards